So you just uh, installed God of War Ragnarok on your PC, but the issue is you have a GTX 1650 Super that only has 4GB of VRAM. And so as you probably know, God of War Ragnarok requires a 6GB uh, GPU to start on. And what happens when you start the game is you just have this beautiful message in here saying that the minimum is 6 gigabytes of fury. So developers said that they are going to fix this, but until they fix it or not, we have a way to bypass it. So you just need to go to Nexus mode on your favorite uh, whatever search engine and log into, into your account or create an account and search for a VRAM bypass. And this is VRAM requirements bypass. Uh, it has a uh, an avatar about uh, God of War and you can spoof the information of your GPU to make it fake to be a RTX 4090, a GDX 1060 with 6 gigabytes. but I just want a regular spoof and I download it uh, which takes like 5 seconds and after you download you just need to copy this little file over here, the dxgi.dll, to the folder where the game is installed, which that, uh, for the majority of the people, you can find it on your Steam folder, which is uh, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and you will find uh, your God of War uh, folder in there, but for me, it is in a different place, so I'm just going to paste that file in here. Here it is. And I close my browser, I close everything, and uh, n it's not entirely perfect. Though. So th this is a, a bug that I get that uh, um, it didn't happen for me on the first time, so I'm not sure if it's going to happen to you or not, but sometimes when I launch the game I just have a black screen, and it doesn't matter if I wait 10-15 minutes, it just doesn't start, so I need to open the task manager, give all, all of the God of War processes, try again, Kill it again, try again, until at some point it just starts. So it's starting. Alright. And I can even enable in your game bar uh, performance metrics for you to have an idea how it runs. But as you can see, we are stuck in the Sony Interactive Entertainment Presents. But if you wait a little bit longer, the game will just start with the rest of the logos. Here we go, Santa Monica Studio. And another molding, of course. VRAM is entirely full. <laughs> and every time I do start a game, the game is compiling shaders, so make sure you wait until it's finished. Let's go to the settings. Performance doesn't seem to be right for me. Let's drop all the settings to the low settings. Use FSR 3.1 on its quality mode. I'm using 1080p, which it shows in there that it's 720p because of the FSR. And as soon as the shaders stop compiling, you can just start to play the game. So I'm just going to load the place where I was, just to show you off that uh, this works. And so far, uh, what I've played, I haven't found any issue, which is surprising, to be honest. I was expecting uh, stuttering or... Uh, textures not molding or anything, but so far it have been pretty good. It doesn't mean that the rest of the game will be okay, but until now it was okay. It's super smooth as you can see. It runs at 60 frames per second, and that's about it. Hope I did help. In case you have any doubt, just leave a comment on the comment section of the video. Goodbye.